What's up, happy campers? I wanted to do a video and review pillows. It seems like I'm doing a lot of sleeping gear, but honestly, when you think about camping, you think about any time in life, sleeping is important to your life. If you get a good night's rest, your next day can be all that much better. So, when anybody first starts out camping, they're probably not gonna know anything about the different various pillows that you can choose from. So obviously, everybody's gonna go with what they know. A plain, run-of-the-mill pillow that you found on your bed. And there's nothing wrong with that, absolutely. There's no law that says you can't take this pillow with you camping. Unless there's some kind of law about storage. I should coin that, Dave's Law. The law of storage. <laughs> anyway, when you got four people and everybody needs a pillow, the girls could get by with one each. So that's two. For me, I'm a big guy. I need at least three pillows to get a good night's rest. So now we're up to five. Tanya, she needs at least two. Three would be nice for her too. So now we're up to at least about eight pillows. You can get away with a few in the cab of the vehicle, in, inside of the vehicle, uh, but you're probably going to wind up wanting to pack some away in your storage area. So, what you'll find is that this is going to take up a lot of space. So my first venture into an official camping pillow were these Magellan Outdoors pillows, large plush camp pillow. You see it's actually in a bag. It has uh, some material on the sides that's, honestly the pillow is like this on one side and like this on the other side. As you can see for packing purposes, this places a lot less space under Dave's law of space. And you can take this thing out. The kiddos have no problem taking this out. They do struggle though getting it back in the bag. And there is the camping pillow pretty much just a normal pillow um, and you let the kids sleep on it and it gets a little bit nerd dirty without having a, a actual pillowcase probably about time for a washing on it As you can see maybe a third the size of a regular pillow and you got to kind of roll it up like a sleeping bag fight with it the same as a sleeping bag. Oh, now it has some nice lovely sidewalk chalk. Why sidewalk chalk? Do you have children? Pack back up. Not too terribly long. I have far worse things to pack like a Coleman zero degree sleeping bag. That's my nightmare. All right, let's cover my favorite pillow. I ordered this one online from the brand that I'm quickly falling in love with, Climate. You can see that. This is the Lux pillow. I like how they, they make the string just right so you can kind of hold it Notice after a few times though, it's pretty easy for it to fall. I can still put it on the hand on the loop like that. I mean, look at the displacement. Look at how much less space under Dave's laws of space, even compared to this. So this is an inflatable pillow. My first thought when I thought of inflatable pillows was, this is gonna be terrible. Now I haven't tried them all yet. I kind of went straight for the best. Work my way back from there. It's got the uh, climate logo on the end. Lux pillow. The material is nice. It's somewhere between a cotton shirt and, and my Under Armour tech tees. It's a good, um, it's like a moisture wicking material. This is uh, your nozzle for blowing it up. Inflate and deflate. And I think it's uh, three to four blows. <sighs> mm. 
Mm, I don't like doing that. <laughs> That's the downside. I don't like doing that. I find it's best to take my time. Almost there. Pretty close. Screw it tight to close it. When you're ready for it to be sleeping, for sleeping, tuck it in there and it actually has a snap to kind of hide the nozzle. The nozzle is hard plastic, so it could be a little uncomfortable. The nice thing about this one, there's no real hard edges. Everything's soft all the way around. You can feel the uh, indentures of how they kind of made it. It is still essentially a blow-up pillow. Have not had a chance to wash it yet. I've used it two, two camping trips. I've been quite happy with this. Definitely plan to buy more. And let's take a look here. And compare it with a full-size pillow. Maybe about half the area. And the nice thing too is if you don't want it quite as firm, you can just let a little air out. So let's take a look at deflation. Take it out. Just open it up. And hug it. Give it a good squeeze. Imagine you're hugging your children. I love you, Pillow. <laughs> now the challenge can be getting something back into a tiny bag. I like to use something firm, so I'm going to actually roll it on this mattress here. In case you're wondering why there's a mattress there, if you go back to our camping for toilet paper at a grocery store video. Ever since then, I have to go into San Antonio once a week for work. And at some point I was like, I don't know how scared people are gonna get. I don't know how bad things are gonna get. I figured I'm just, it's just me going. So I actually left camp sleeping gear in there. And it's like, if for any reason I wound up stuck in San Antonio, unable to go home, I was ready to self quarantine in my vehicle. So had access to bathrooms at my job, I would just have to go someplace and get food. And be filthy dirty as I couldn't shower. I usually like to take the bag, hold it up to whatever I'm rolling, kind of visualize how I need to fold it. This looks like I can fold it just once. To get it folded down. This is nowhere near the struggle to put in as that other Magellan camping pillow. The cost on these can be a little bit more. I'm gonna say this one was about $27. We'll see over time how it holds up with the uh, the air with that inflatable part. That'll be the long-term test to find out if it's really worth it. All right, let's take a look at the last pillow that I've got. This is also a climate pillow X large. Now, this is more in your basic one, not quite as fancy as their Lux line, but I found this at Walmart and it was actually a surprise. I did a Walmart walk around of their camp gear in January, I believe. They didn't have any climate gear at that time. They kind of did a realignment, I think in February and all of a sudden climate stuff started getting added to Walmart's camping gear. Walmart is the surprise shop for camping gear. I thought I would find more things at some other stores and they have just absolutely shocked me and they're stepping up their stuff. So they even had the uh, Static V climate sleeping pad, so really coming up. 
Uh, this Pelo X Large, can't remember the, the price point, about $10 less than the Lux, I'd say. And once again, it's got the cool little handle, but look at how small that is. I mean, I was impressed with how small this is. Look at how much smaller that is. However, there are some drawbacks to this one. Oh yeah, let's look at this. I could probably bring enough pillows for six to seven people for the amount of space that this takes. Dave's law of space. <laughs> I'm going to coin that. Now I did struggle a little bit getting this one in and the stitching actually got a little ripped right there. If you can see that. So that is one concern so far. I did not have that issue with the Lux bag. So once again, I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to a cheaper product, even though it is climate, I was expecting to have a rubber like feel. It did not have that rubber like feel. It still has like a, a felt. It, it feels like a cloth. No tags off the side, it's just got the climate print right on there. This is pretty much their nozzle, the way that this nozzle works. You got the in and out right there. When you're ready to close it off, you just twist it. Three. All right. So that is the Climate X Large pillow. I wasn't sure what I would think about having this dimp, dimple, divot, whatever you want to call it. But it actually kind of helps your head to stay in the middle. So that was nice. The downfall for me were these edges. They don't feel like a problem now. When you're just right here playing with them, your first touch to them. But after seven hours sleeping with them, I find it to irritate my neck. If I reach a hand around, I can rub it on my arm. Over time, it gave me a problem. So, my thought was, I have plenty of these plain Jane pillowcases around the house. So on our next camping trip, What I may do, if I buy more of these, I was thinking about buying two of them. Also, did you notice the nozzle has nowhere to hide? So, if that nozzle is going to irritate you, I don't know if I could get two in there. If I played around with them more, I could probably get it down in there sideways. I think that would be the way to go with this, having to bring the extra pillowcase. The nice thing is, a pillowcase does not displace a lot of space in your containers, your trunk, however you're hauling stuff. Under Dave's laws of space. And comparing with a regular size pillow. You can see it, it can get pretty thick there too. You can, like I said, regulate that by how much air you put in it. Pointing out that bag is tiny. So getting this pillow in there is a little more work. I appreciate how small it is for my storage purposes, but I think making the bag maybe a half an inch longer, maybe a half inch more in circumference. <laughs> would have actually benefited us. This is a theme that you're gonna find on my camping channel is 
when you when a company makes camping gear that's cheap it discourages new campers and they wind up quitting too easily because most new campers are not going to buy the nice stuff right away they buy the cheap stuff the cheap stuff breaks on them too easily and then they just throw their hands up and they don't go camping anymore so kind of layered it over four times Over four times, rolled it like a burrito. If you wonder what I'm talking about, I spent three and a half years as a manager at Chipotle Mexican Grill. Before that, I couldn't roll a sleeping bag. Now I can. Roll a sleeping bag like you roll a burrito. And yes, I have the guacamole recipe memorized. No, I will not give it to you. I don't feel like getting sued by Chipotle today. But actually, at that time, I felt like it rolled a little better, but maybe it was the fact that I already had torn some of the seams there. So there you go. These kind of pillows are usually considered for hiking. Because when you're out there hiking, you're packing your bag, you're trying to be as light as possible because you don't want to have to be carrying a heavy bag all day. Uh, we've heard of Boy Scouts bragging about how much weight they can put in their bag. Uh, good friend Jeff actually pointed out, why not practice how light you can go with still getting everything that you need into your gear. Thanks Jeff for that tip, that was awesome. So when you're packing up the car, or you're packing up the truck, you have to think about space. It's still an issue. Uh, you're probably gonna wanna take a lot of stuff. You get the kids, they're like, hey, how many Barbies can I take? Can we go with one, maybe two? <laughs> so the food, the drinks, the ice, the coolers, it all adds up. Next thing you know, you've got a truck full of stuff and you forgot to get the tent in the truck. And now you're having to shuffle stuff around, bring something out. So when you can find things, and it may take time, maybe you're a new camper, you're just starting out and you can't afford all this stuff. I don't have all these pillows yet because I can't afford to go and buy 12 of these things to supplement my family. Our plan has been, and I've told the girls, uh, every month I'll buy another one of those Lux pillows for the family. Add up over time. And then what that's going to do is that's going to, under Dave's Laws of Space, decrease the amount of stuff that we have in our vehicle when we go on a camp. <laughs> Why can't I speak English today? So anyway, it gives us more space. And having more space frees up to have room for things like bicycles, big wheels, kites. Things that are nice to have. But when it's time to take the have-to-haves, they get sacrificed and then the kids aren't as happy on the campsite. So, I hope this helps. I hope that you're able to get some good information out of uh, what I provided today with the pillows. And I don't know if y'all are as excited as I am, but uh, camping is gonna start getting opened up again. Let's just make sure that we don't mess it up for everybody. Wash your hands, social distance, whatever that means. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank y'all for watching my review about pillows. I hope I didn't put you to sleep with all this pillow talk. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Click the like button. Hit the bell notification if you're really excited about our videos and want to be notified when they come out. Thanks again. Happy camping, y'all.